These are the batteries for my generator system. I got a little ohm meter sitting on the top, and that's for the generator, uh, for the output of the generator right now, but it's not showing nothing. The wind's not blowing. I got six batteries hooked up for 12 volts and then multiple amperage. So I got 4,800 amps sitting here. Um, for the connectors here, I just used some, uh, some round tubing. I flattened it out, drilled some holes through it. It makes a great conductor between all the batteries. I need one more between this one here. I used wires instead, but I gotta get one more piece of pipe and flatten it out and then drill the holes. Up here I got a little trace inverter or trace controller that's gonna control the charge from the batteries. If it charge if the generators charge too much then it'll divert the energy over to this coil which is basically a heating element for a water heater. So when the batteries are charged, it'll divert the energy over to here. Um, then I have the inverter here, which is a Norton Hydraulics 1500 watts modified sine wave inverter. That's going to be running the electricity into the house or into some extra sockets upstairs. So that's the extent of what I got here. And uh, the inverter is about 150 bucks. The controller is about 100 bucks. The the heating element and are about 15 or 20. The batteries I got for 120 for all six of these because they were a huge thing and the guy wanted to get rid of them. They're in like brand new shape. Um, they hold a pretty good charge and they're huge. They're 100 pounds a piece. They're made by CD Technologies and they're like a UPS battery backup uh, a battery with like uh, 800 uh, amp hours in each of them. So. They're, they're a good battery. Anyways, that's the extent of it. I got two generators outside charging the batteries. And then I also have a six uh, electric photoelectric cells out in the front that are running a, uh, a solar collector, hot air solar collector on its own. And that's what I want to do here too is I got a uh, solar collector up here in the corner that there those are the tubes in the squirrel cage fan right here and the tubes go out the white ones are going out the two black ones coming in and I want to run that totally off the inverter and the batteries during the day so that's kind of my thing is to get that heat for free and then I can also use this on a on a day that uh, electricity goes out in a storm or something around here so, thank you much for watching. Two generators and this is my little backup system. Thank you. Bye-bye.